Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Zach here, coming back at you with another video. Sorry it took me a while to upload another video, but I was sick and busy with school and stuff. But now I finally have a chance. Today I'm going to be doing a review, overview, and all that stuff, demo to, of my Canon Color Image Class MF634 CDW. I'm just doing these printer videos because they tend to be really popular and they tend to help a lot of people out, so I'm hoping to achieve the same thing with this. If you enjoy this video and if you find it helpful, be sure to subscribe and give a big thumbs up. Also give a thumbs up if you admire that fidget cube sitting right there. I put it there just for this video. Okay, so a lot of you guys don't like how I talk too much or whatever, or how I take too long. So we're just going to get right into this and not have it take too long or whatever. So going from top to bottom, you have your... Uh, Automatic two-sided single-pass ADF, which is really nice because it'll take a two-sided document, take it in really quickly and scan both sides at once. This thing does fold in, but I don't have enough room right here, so I just leave it out, which is kind of a shame because it does get dusty. Underneath that, you have a flatbed scanner, which can scan up to uh, letter pieces of paper as far as width and A4 pieces as far as length. Right here, this does not lift up, surprisingly. I expected it to, but it does not. You have your little extender thingy right here. You have a USB port right here for flash drives for printing media off of them. You have a screen right here. I believe it's three and a half or four inches. I'm not entirely sure. You, uh, on the screen, your speakers right here on the side. You have a silent mode right here, which turns on automatically. Home, cancel jobs, and status lights. You have your power button. I'll be turning it on in a minute. You have a 150 sheet paper tray right there, which holds the same size as this, up to an A4. And actually, I believe you can extend it to print up to an A3, but don't blame me, by attaching this to the paper tray. I'm not entirely sure what the maximum dimensions are, but I know you can attach that and make it longer, but I don't know how high it goes total. This is a specialty media. Uh, mainly used for envelopes or if you're printing two-sided on a specific sheet of paper that you used earlier on or whatever. And then to change the toner, you pull down right here on the side next to the power button, there's a little groove. And then you pull up down this blue lever and you have your four toner cartridges, your black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Now if you notice right here, I don't know if you can tell, but the number actually says 201A slash X. I mean, these take Canon 45s, but you notice that says 201A slash X right there. That is because, a lot of people don't know this, that is actually the HP toner number, because I had an HP laser printer before this, I took those cartridges, the 201A, and Canon and HP actually share some manufacturing parts, so it's clear that Canon used this manufacturing part from HP to cut down on costs. And by the way, all your cables are in the back, it takes USB, Ethernet, power cable, all that stuff. So to turn it on, you just press this button right here. And you see it says Canon up on the screen with a little thing. It takes about 30 seconds to get ready. Now, the screen's already on, so I'm going to take this opportunity to show you guys the screen. Sorry, I just touched the microphone. You guys might have picked up on that. I'm not sure. You can see down there, it says, right where it says correcting, wait a moment. Uh, close that. That's, sometimes the IP address changes on its own. I don't know why. But where it says correcting, wait a moment, you'll also see the name of documents you're printing and uh, other stuff too. So, it, so again, documents, you'll see if it's doing something. That's basically your status right there. Uh, this is, if you have an error, this will blink orange and not just your status. If it's blinking, it means it's doing something. If it's solid, it means it's in standby. And also, eventually after five minutes, it'll be on do not disturb. This moon will light up green, you just tap that moon to turn it off. I don't know if you can turn it on manually or not. I'm not entirely sure. So zooming in onto the screen here, you have copy, fax, or do not have set up, scan, printing from a flash drive, eco copy, a bleed reduced copy, ID card copy, scan to preset, next page. Secure print, menu, which is settings essentially, contacts, paper settings, printing for mobile, home screen settings, update firmware, ID card copy, I think that's, whoops, oh, by the way, you press this to get return home, uh, ID card, card copy, oh, they're sort of similar, and then on the last page of operation guide, standby, slide, print template, and consumables information, so if I go there, for example, you can see I have everything installed. I have 60% on the black and 70% on the colors. I print a lot. And before I forget, some people might have issues where if they go to try to change settings, like I think it's there, yeah. So you get prompted for a system manager ID and PIN. The default on the printer is, I had to, I had to look this up, 
is 7654321 for the system manager and the pin. The 7654321, 7654321. So I hope that helps a lot because I was confused with that. Because setup on this printer was not very easy, surprisingly enough. Okay, so I showed you guys the overview. If you have any questions on that, feel free to comment them down below. I'll also put my email at the end of this video and in the description if you want to email me. Maybe you have a longer sort of a concern or question. So we're done with the overview now, so we're going to get right into the printing. It prints at, I believe, 19 pages per minute in both color and black and white, and it copies at the same speed, too. So I am first going to print out just a regular essay that I wrote for school. I'm going to print it out double-sided so you can get a, an idea. I print the same speed in color and black and white so you don't have to worry about that, and I'll show you a double-sided copy with that. So it's just a regular uh, Word document. So I'm connected via Wi-Fi to the printer, and I'm going to hit print in three, two, one, now. As you can see, it already says writing file right there. And here we go. Damn it, focus. There. Now sucking it back in to print the other side. Can't go over a bit. <laughs> and there you go. That was four pages, or two double sided sheets, four pages total. If you take a look here, if I can focus on the text, there we go. You can see it is very, very clear. Like I'm looking at it like straight up to my eyes right now. I don't see any pixelation whatsoever. It is dark black, like some of the crispest text I've seen on a printer ever. And so I'm, I'm overall really satisfied. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna do a double-sided copy. And just so you can prove that's double-sided, I'm not tricking you guys or anything. You can see it says Galen 1 right there. Because it's MLA format, Galen 1, Galen 3, and then that one says 2, and on the back it's 4. And I'm going to do a two-sided to a single-sided copy. So it's going to take in the two-sided document, scan both sides, and print it as single-sided. So I'm going to stick it up here into the auto document feeder. All right. Now, the original file's in the feeder. It says that right there. The original file's in the feeder. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I know a lot of you guys uh, like to see how I actually do it. So I do copy. You have settings right here. It says two-sided off. I'm going to... I'm going to go over to this one right here, which is two to one sided, as you can see. So I can zoom in on that if you didn't see. See how it says two to one sided now? I tap on the one out the edge. And I'm going to, it's going to be a black and white copy, so right when I'm ready, I'm going to press black and white start, which is the white button right there. I'm just going to zoom out first so you can see the whole thing take place. Okay, and I'm going to press it in three, two, one. You can see how fast it scans. Pulling the first page, now pulling the second page. Now, I've already scanned all four sheets of paper, and you'll see there's going to be four sheets that print out. One. Two. Three. Four. All right. And I, so I'm just going to prove to you that this was, in fact, a copy. You'll see Galen 1. Damn it. Come on. Two, if it's focused, Galen, one, two, three, four. And if we just take, for example, the fourth page, we put them next to each other. The one on top, I believe, is the copy. I can't even tell. That's how good this printer copies. You can see there's literally zero difference between the two. No marks because of the scanner or anything like that. It pulls a document in completely straight, which I love. And it looks great. So next I'm going to be printing out a Wikipedia page. I'm going to be printing it single-sided so you can get a better idea of the single-sided speed. It's a Wikipedia page on the USS Iowa, which is a warship. And if I do Command P, so I'm going to be printing out 15 pages of it because the last few, few pages are just nothing, really. And we're doing it single-sided in color, just so you can get an idea. All right, and turn turn off headers and footers. And three, two, one, now. And you can leave it on this page. It's fine. You can press home. It doesn't matter. 
Now I see it already appeared as writing file name. So now it's already sent to the printer. The printer's processing it, so it can print faster all at once. And here it goes. So it should print pretty quickly now that it already received the job. One. Two. And I'm not gonna keep counting, just want you guys see. Sometimes it takes a minute to like feed another page with the pixel processing. But as you can see, I'll put a little page counter in the corner of the video. You see that little stop right there is because I had to process and catch up on the job because it was still downloading. But it processes much faster than the other printers. Like the HP would like stop for 20 seconds before I print the next page. This page has a lot of, this document just has a lot of graphics on it too. And this should be the last page. There you go, it gives you that little beep to signal that it's done, which I happen to love. And I'm not gonna go through all of this. This is partly so you can just get an idea. But it looks, honestly, like immaculate, pretty much. If you take a look on the front page. Ah, I'm sorry, this is really hard to hold. You can see, I printed the text kind of big, but that's not the printer's fault. You can see all the pictures and how fast it processed everything, and everything looks, honestly, like perfect. What I'll do now is I'm gonna take a couple pages out of the article that have pictures on them. I'm just going to photocopy them. So I'm going to take these three pages right here. So this page, that page, and this page. And I'm going to copy them so you can get an idea of the color copy speed. So let me zoom out. I'm going to put my documents in the top and you'll hear it beep. Or maybe. Yep, it beeps. I always forget which of my printers beeps and which don't. And I'm going to go over here so you can see me just the settings. I'm going to go to copy, two-sided off, it already reset, and these are all the settings I want. So, you know, just standard quality, no density adjustment, no crop adjustment, none, none of that, and I'm just going to press color copy, which is that greenish blue button right there. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing start to finish, and you'll see it pulls pages through at around the same speed, and color. The pages are obviously getting pulled through a bit slower, but still about the same speed as the prints. And here it comes. There's two. And there's three. I, I don't know why that copy was a little slower. I think I had to like prime the color toner cartridges, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. So, I am going to, just for comparison, show you the just the first page, that's the only one you can really tell the difference. I just copied them all so you can see an idea of the speed. So the one on your left is the original, and the one on the right is the copy. And as you can see, it's still very good. The text looks the same, pretty much. The copy, the, the colors aren't quite as vibrant, but you can, of course you can raise the quality. But all in all, it's really, really, really good. Like, if you just handed me next to them, like, you just handed me one, I wouldn't really be able to tell. I can tell because I made the copy and I'm like really, really analyzing right here. So don't worry, this is great for copying. And lastly, for this demo, I'm going to print out four pictures, all of which use different colors, as you can see the difference. And I'm gonna print them out on one per page. So I just hit print on three of them and now I need to print another one. Now as you can see, it's processing them right now. It would just take a while to process, not because of the printer itself, just on all printers they do this. First off, I'm really far from the Wi-Fi router right now, which is why it's going slow. I'm also sending them over Wi-Fi and the printer's downloading them. Once it downloads them, it has to render them and process the image and all that. But it should get going in about 10 seconds here. So I'm gonna make a cut and I'll tell you about how long, oh, never mind. Here it goes. So it just processed three really large pictures, like Super HD. And you'll probably get one at a time. Here's the first one. This one is a picture of a sunset. And by the way, I'm only putting all the original ones in the video so you can compare them side by side. But here's a picture of a sunset. All these are my photos. <laughs> so 
So, yes, I know I'm a good photographer. Thank you, thank you. This is a photo of a sunset I took while I was in Arizona. I'll be putting the original one right on top of it so you can see the difference. It's also important to keep in mind that you won't be able to really tell the difference on camera because the camera has its own color processing, the printer has its own. So really some of that quality is lost. This will get you a good idea of how accurate it is, which is really accurate. Anyway, here's a photo of some flowers, which it more utilizes blues and, and, and reds. Okay, so the third photo from the first set just finished printing. Now this one uses a little more yellow, a little more greenish. There is a little bit of horizontal banding, but it's not really visible to see, partly because it's just like really cheap CVS drugstore paper. It's important to know, first off, I don't know why, but on the camera right now, it looks much more faded than it does in person. But let me just, if I can adjust the white balance right now. No, it won't let me do it while I'm recording. But in person, this is a little more yellowy down here, and these greens are brighter. I'm just looking at it. And it looks a lot more similar to the original photo, but it's still really, really accurate, especially for a laser printer. Now the last photo is coming up, which is of a construction site fencing. And this one, on camera, this one looks pretty sim similar to the actual photo. So you just get an idea of, you know, what it looks like, etc. And it's really, really accurate. I'm really, really impressed. Before I forget to mention, if you like rub on it, there's no smearing, no powder, which is an issue with some printers for sure. And by the way, if the printer does go into rest mode, uh, to shut it off, you just press this button. I'm not going to shut it off until the end of the review. But if it's in rest mode, don't press the power button to wake it up because that's going to shut it off. Just press the moon or tap the screen and that'll work. So now that I finished the demo and I finished the overview, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this printer. So overall, what do I think of it? This is by far the best printer I've ever owned next to the HP. Uh, what I love about this printer is not only the fact that it prints super, super fast over Wi-Fi and it processes really quickly, but also that it prints really good quality, as you guys were all able to see. It copies well, it prints well, you know, everything is super crisp and vibrant and accurate, which is really nice. Uh, as you guys saw, the two-sided document feeder I love. Not only is it a fast document feeder, but it's really good quality and it's two-sided. That is not a lot of what you find, especially for a printer within this price range. It's very, very reasonably priced for what it is. And I just sort of love this touchscreen. Uh, it is a little unresponsive at times, but like sometimes, you, sometimes you'll find like you have to press hard. I mean, like see how like see how like I'm not really doing on. Oh, that's not really working. Actually, never mind. Uh, no, <laughs> that's why it wasn't working. I had to press it on the screen. Never mind. But sometimes the screen will be a little hard to press, especially when you get into the keypad. But you know, I don't really fax a lot, so it's not that important for me. So I'm going to get more into the pros and cons of this printer. I sort of told you the pros already. As far as cons, the first one is obviously the size. I mean, it is really, really tall. I wish it were a couple inches shorter so I could move this thing. As far as width and depth, it's not bad at all. This is about not that much bigger than any other printer you'd find, but I just wish it was a little smaller in height, but I know a lot of that height comes from the duplex system up here. Another pro I forgot to mention is that it's really, really quiet. I don't know if you heard, but I did not adjust my microphone or anything. And it's really, really quiet. Like, it's a, one of the quietest laser printers I've ever heard, but quite frankly. Another con is the fact that this only holds about 150 sheets. I mean, for me, it's not really much of a con, but if you're somebody who's printing heavy, heavy volume, it might get a little annoying. But Canon does make higher-end printers. I don't know what exactly the model is, but they look like this, but they're a little bigger. They hold like up to 500 or 1,000 sheets. So if you print a lot, it might be worth it. Might make some noise because I opened the paper tray. Uh, also, I love, well, not, well, not I love, sorry. I'm talking about cons now. Uh, there's really not much else I can talk, I can say that's bad about this printer. Almost everything about it is perfect. Like. Nothing is really bad other than the size, but maybe one thing is that it shares some parts from HP, like HP has a blinking power button right here, and so does this one, even though it's not hollow here. But, I mean, there's really nothing I dislike about this printer. It's quite amazing to say. Toner's not even all that pricey. I mean, maybe I wish it lasted a little longer for the price, but it's among the cheapest, and inside the toner, it includes uh, new imaging drums. Like, it's basically like installing a whole new printer every time you install new print cartridges, so... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I dislike about this printer. I really do hope, oh, you know, actually, maybe the difficult setup, that's a bit of a flaw. 
But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions or comments, comment them down below or send an email to my business email, zmg2help at gmail.com. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and if the more you subscribe and the more you like on this video, it just shows me that I'm helping you guys. I'll make more videos like these. If anybody, anybody from Canon or Epson or HP or Brother or any other printer company is watching and you'd like me to like to sponsor a video, you may do that by either commenting on this video or sending me an email. I'll be happy to do sponsored printer videos or any sponsored tech videos for that matter. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.